No, just bend down and do it so that she'll remain behind. No, I can't. You want to do the mic? Bend down. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so I'll start now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell us what happened. I am Chief Kodi Wajurike. I'm the lawyer to organize the team of worldwide. We are appointed by the President General of Ohanese to come here and with me is a Chief General of Ohanese, former Governor of Anapa, Dr. So we are very in court today, so fortunately not all the press were allowed in. So let me just tell you something. We did not see him as in We only heard that he was brought back. Nobody has seen him. Ohana is certain and the kind of remains our son. So if he was taken away from Kenya by unlawful means, under the rule of law, he on the, on the was brought to court. And the reason given by the prosecution is actually questionable. They said it's a problem of logistics. In simple language, the DSI said they didn't have a vehicle to bring him. As far as I understand the word logistics, that it did not make sense. So the court did not handle the matter today because it cannot have a trial in that sense of the suspect. And my name can be treated like a criminal. It's not a criminal, it's only a suspect. And it's only a court that must pronounce that word. Everybody is presumably not must be found guilty. So today we have come all the way to Abuja to witness what is going on. And the first thing we did was to look out for him. We did not see. Imagine that the Carlos lawyer is also complaining that he has been denied access. For the past 10 days, I have been asking to see his client. And the judge said that is wrong. And he's having a meeting with Imagine that the Carlos lawyer, with the prosecutor, who is actually the director of federal prosecution, to work out the day the lawyer will go and see him. So no one is alive. We're only hearing stories. So today, her name is standing firm. And we have the full squad of Utuaki in Abuja in Atenda. Because we want to see that justice must not only be done, but must be seen, must be seen to have been done. In other words, we don't want technicality. What triumphs today is called technicality, not justice. Justice demands that you don't keep somebody behind bars and decide when and where to try it. Today, Marzina Mekano is in the custody of the director of state security, and it is not a prison. Normally, when you are sent to prison, it is from prison that you are brought to trial, not in the hands of those who have not played you. In simple language, nothing has changed. So we say, let there be justice in this case. And Ohanese will never repent. Yes, the President General of Ohanese, from Sobion, said, we must see it all. Are you hopeful that this uh, uh, SSR will transfer the very transfer? Are you hopeful that uh, this trial will transfer? Well, you may not know, but this trial is being monitored all over the world. And it is actually the judiciary that is on trial today. The judiciary in Nigeria is on trial. How they handle this case will now determine how the world sees the judiciary of Nigeria. It's an international case. I will follow it up to the end. Thank you very much. I am Chief Godi Wazurike, a chieftain of Ohanese, and the lawyer to Ohanese. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to work on my car. Yeah, that's me, arrange. Move there, move there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's get your opinion. How are you doing?
I came here hoping to cross the sky. Where are you? Whatever is happening. But we waited for three hours before the judge came. And at no time did we see who was kidnapped from them. I think we are very, very disappointed. That's a new one. What your what is not? I don't know if uh, the gentleman like this. Did he come to? Did he come by himself? Do you know the person of extradition? Do you know the person of extradition? Thank you, thank you, thank you, God Thank you. We depend on you, the press, to ensure that justice is done. That's like a colleague from Malmanil said. Not being done, but simply done. This one doesn't do any kind of thing. You are the times to the city of July. I woke up abnormally by five o'clock to be here. I came here. I walked one long miles to get to the court. And I didn't see the boy I was with. You people should help us to look to you like this. The press, all of us are on trial. Nigeria is on trial. And you, the press, must take the lead with the president. Nigeria. Democracy. <laughs> 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 Okay, but thank you. May I give you a look at you? As you can see, that was an address by Ohaneze Ndibo's lawyer and um, the former ones. governor. Of, the former governor. They just addressed the press. They said that Nigeria is on trial. That's not logistics. I know it's Oh, yeah, I Yes, that is the lawyer of Hanez and He just um, made it clear. He said that Nigeria is on trial and called on the press to rise up. We are waiting for the lawyer of Mazen Abdukano to come and address us. Just stay tuned. We are waiting for him. We are waiting for you and this guy, uh, Mazen and the kind of lawyer to come. Welcome, sir. Yes. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Sir, icon. please, can you tell us what happened? The icon of uh, I was arrested and uh, they just released me. Sir, so why were you arrested? I was arrested because they don't, obviously don't want me to see Kano. Uh, I have another case upstairs. So okay. okay, sir. Thank you, sir.
We are waiting for the lawyer of our lead, of Mazenam the Colonel. We want to see them, we want to talk to them so that they can address us. Our leader was not brought to court today. Just Mazenam the Colonel was not brought to court today, just we are as we heard from the Ohaneze Libo lawyer who addressed us a few minutes ago. And the Nigerian DSS said that it's because of logistics. In a simple term, it means they don't have vehicle to bring him to court. And the court has been adjourned to October, 20, October 20th. Please, take note, the court was adjourned but we heard that um, we heard that his lawyers are having meeting with the judge to know when and where to be meeting Mazenam the Khan. That is why we are here waiting for them to come and address the public. We are waiting for them. Mazenam the Khan was not brought to court. He was denied access to court today. Please stay tuned. We are still waiting for his lawyers. We are still waiting for them. We are still waiting for them. Yeah, I know, I know. He's my leader, but, you know, this, this is a different case, please. Do not misquote me. He's my leader. Um, I know the tricks we played him to be able to enter into this court. This is not easy to, to come in here, so please don't be offended. Please, he's my, he's my leader. Yeah, he's my leader. Makantina. Uh, <laughs> We are still on the case of Mazenam the Kano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. The Ahanes and Dibo has condemned his illegal extraordinary rendition to Nigeria from Kenya. So the former governor of Anambra State, His Excellency Ezefe Chukwemeka, has also condemned his absence in the court today. He was supposed to be arraigned today before the Federal High Court, but he was denied access. And according to the DSS, it's because based on logistics. That is the recent update from the Chukwu Writers. With us, we'll be back when um, our bar uh, the barristers arrive. We'll be back on live. Please share the video as, as you watch. Please share. We'll be back.
Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting.